Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this World Skills Master Cam tutorial series, Machining Your Part. Last episode, we went over the process for finishing the outside and inside features. In this episode, join me as we walk through creating the necessary hole making operations for the first side. To create the spot drill, drill, and tapping operations, we will be using the drill toolpath, which can be found under the 2D gallery. With the toolpath hole definition function panel open, press and hold the control key, then select the top edge of the hole. This shortcut selects all matching radii. In the function panel, under the sort option, select the X plus Y plus approach. Select OK to exit the function panel and load the drill toolpath page. Under the tool page, select the 10 mm spot drill. Moving down to the cut parameters, the only thing to change here is adding a dwell to the operation. Type in 3.0 and move on to the linking parameters. Turn on clearance and set this to absolute 50 millimeters. For drilling tool paths, the retract height now determines when the rapid feed rate is switched to the plunge feed rate. Set this to incremental three millimeters. Set the top of stock to absolute zero millimeters and the depth should be set to absolute. There is a depth calculator which launches its own dialog box. Ensure the finished diameter is set to 8.5 millimeters, then set the radio button to overwrite depth. Then select OK. Based on the tool and solid model, Mastercam can generate the correct depth needed. Select OK to generate the toolpath. Under the 2D gallery in the toolpaths contextual tab, select Drill again. In the toolpath hole definition function panel, use the control key shortcut, then select the solid hole body. The same sorting option should be applied. If not, use the X plus Y plus from the sorting option dropdown. Select OK to exit the function panel and load the drill toolpath page. Under the tool page, select the 6.8 millimeter drill, then move on to the cut parameters page. Change the cycle type to PEC drill, then input a PEC depth of 3 millimeters. Now in the linking parameters, set the top of stock to absolute 0 millimeters. Make sure the depth is set to absolute, then enter negative 17 millimeters. Select OK to generate the toolpath. Back under the 2D toolpath gallery, select Drill. In the selection menu, use the copy previous points method to reselect the holes and match the sorting method quickly. Select OK to generate the drill toolpath page. Under the tool page, select the M8 by 1.25 right-handed tap. Be sure to follow up with the tooling manufacturer's recommended speeds and feeds for the tapping operation. Under the cut parameters page, change the cycle type to tap. In the linking parameters page, change the top of stock to absolute zero. For the depth, enter minus 15 millimeters per the blueprint callout. Select OK to generate the toolpath. Lastly, we can set up a toolpath to cut a chamfer on the part. The model chamfer toolpath uses the solid model to generate smooth toolpath motion when cutting the chamfer. Expand the 2D gallery to find the model chamfer toolpath. The toolpath page opens and on the right side we can select our geometry. Use the Chain Geometry Selection button to access the chaining dialog box. Using Solid Selection and the Loop method, select the outside edge near the front of the model, then select the pocket's edge near the back. The green arrow indicates the chamfer mill tool direction, so use the reverse options if needed. Select OK to exit the chaining dialog box. Back in the model chamfer toolpath, on the tool page, we need to select a chamfer mill. Use the Select Library Tool option, then a tool selection dialog box appears. Go into the Filter options and use the None button to deselect all of the tools. Then turn on chamfer mills. Click on the 10mm chamfer mill, then select OK. 
Under the cut parameters page, set the chamfer width to 0.3 millimeters, then set the radio button for a top offset of 0.5 millimeters. Inside of the linking parameters page, all of the heights are incremental from the chain selection. Keep in mind, the depth of the chamfer is dictated by the cut parameter settings from before. Select OK to generate the toolpath. Now, to finish up the first side, let's create another model chamfer toolpath, this time for the 13mm chamfer on the pocket floor. Since the through hole size matches the diameter of the chamfer mill, we will need to create this second chamfer toolpath to have more control over how deep the tool goes. Launch the model chamfer toolpath again, and still using the solid loop selection, select the top edge of the hole. Select OK to go back to the model chamfer toolpath page. Grab the 10 mm chamfer mill on the tool page. Move on to the cut parameters page. For the chamfer width, set this to zero. Since the solid has the chamfer modeled into the part, Mastercam can figure out the width. Now, set the top offset to two and a half millimeters. This will ensure the tool stays a safe distance out of the hole and still create the chamfer. Select OK to generate the toolpath. Well, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for joining me and be sure to continue the series as we begin to machine the second side of the part.